In this Python tutorial, we will make this web application using Streamlit library. There are header and toggle objects in the application. An object is displayed on the screen according to the selected toggle object. You can display image, audio and video objects on the screen with toggle. I will show you step by step how to do the application. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. First, let's activate the web server. I open terminal. I open the command prompt. I go to Venn file. You can activate the web server using this code. The web server is currently running. Let's add a header. You can add text to the web page using the header function. I save the code file and refresh the page. We added a text to the web page. Now let's add the toggle object to the web application. I can do this using the toggle function. I am sending the object name to the toggle function. If the toggle object is enabled, the variable is equal to true. I can write text to the web window using the write function. When the toggle object is enabled, the text is printed in the web window. I will use video, audio and image files in the project. You can access all files from the GitHub link in the description of the video. Or you can use different files of your own. I will add the object to the web application using the video function instead of the write function. I send the video name to the video function. When the toggle object is enabled, the video is shown on the screen. I create toggle objects in audio and image. There are three toggle objects under each other on the web page. I define an if query within audio and image objects. I can add the audio file to the web page using the audio function. I can add the image file to the web page using the image function. Files are displayed on the web page according to the enabled toggle objects. You can see all three files at the same time. Toggle objects are one under the other. If you want to add them side by side, you must use a different method. I create a variable and set the columns option to 3. Using the within index structure, I place the objects side by side on the web page.
Toggle objects are now placed side by side. Files are displayed on the web page according to the selected toggle object. You can see all three files at the same time. In this video, we learned how to use the toggle object. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video.